ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन योर ड्यूटी इज टू अर्न द इम्पेरिसेबल ड्यूल्स ऑफ नॉलेज एंड इंस्पायर अदर्स टू अर्न दैम यू डोंट नीड टू आस्क बिफोर मेकिंग अ डोनेशन you have to demonstrate doing it question which pure desire does the father always have in his heart in which aspect does the father want you to become equal to himself answer the father always has the desire in his heart to give you children happiness The unlimited father never thinks about performing a sinful act or causing anyone sorrow because he is the bestower of happiness. The father wishes to make his children equal to himself in this way. Baba says, "Sweet children, check, do I always have pure thoughts?" I don't have any sinful thoughts do I song look at your face in the mirror of your heart oh man om shanti god speaks who said look at your face in the mirror of your heart oh man a human being is an embodied soul embodied souls are children of the father you know that you are souls at this time the father of you souls is the supreme father the supreme soul the father of bodily beings is prajapita brahma you are the children of baap and dada the father sits here and explains to you embodied souls o oh children check in the mirror of your heart to what percentage have i become a charitable soul how much clarity how much charity do i perform people don't understand that donations have to be made and charity performed of the imperishable jewels of knowledge It has now entered your intellects that your father, teacher, and Sadguru are the one unlimited father. Your body consciousness is breaking. We have been remembering that unlimited father for half a cycle. Remembering him began on the path of devotion. Devotees remember God. they believe that god is one the father of us souls is that incorporeal one animal etc too have corporeal fathers however that baba is our true baba who is the resident of the supreme abode he is the one who makes us true All of those who reside in the land of truth are charitable souls. You know that to the extent you remain honest with the Father, you will accordingly receive a high status in the Father's land of truth. This race is for that. Through a worldly study, someone would become a barrister and someone else would become an engineer. some would be weak and others would be strong some would earn 100000 and others would scarcely earn 5000 500 rupees everything depends on how you study you children are making your treasure stores full of the jewels of knowledge only these will be useful to you you have to imbibe them and become charitable souls donate them to others and make them into charitable souls 
ask your heart how much do i imbibe and how much charity do i perform if i don't perform charity i would definitely remain a sinful soul therefore look at your face the teacher and father would also know about those who sit at the back you can tell everything from the register that is a physical matter but this is incognito mama and baba continue to inspire you to imbibe imbibe the imperishable juice of knowledge and also inspire others to imbibe them if you don't become a charitable soul yourself how would you make others that this is not a worldly matter here this is a spiritual matter to the extent that someone is wealthy his mercury of happiness accordingly rises some people have a lot of wealth it is printed in the newspapers which ones are the wealthiest of all at this time it is number wise here it is not a matter of perishable wealth here you have to earn and inspire others to earn the imperishable jewels of knowledge you don't need to ask about anything in an, in in this you don't need to ask before making a donation you have to demonstrate doing it the father says check in the mirror of your heart as to how much of a charitable soul you have become we were all number one sinful souls we were also number one charitable souls each of us has once again received a third eye of knowledge we are becoming charitable souls to the extent that you accumulate this wealth of knowledge accordingly you become wealthy we now become beggars of perishable wealth and wealthy with imperishable wealth we have an exchange we give our bodies minds and wealth everything to baba baba then gives us the jewels of knowledge with which we receive everything new body mind and wealth there maya doesn't exist to cause anyone's mind to wander around here people's mind are influenced by maya the mind is the thing that causes the co- that causes the most trouble when there is no yoga the mind becomes like a devil you have to see how much wealth you take from baba and how much you then donate to others mama and baba are also human beings the same as you they do listen with their ears the incorporeal father speaks with these organs incorporeal souls have their own bodies this is an old iron aged body that continues to cause sorrow you children know that the father comes and makes you constantly happy you have found the father and so there is clapping of happiness inside and this is why there is clapping externally also first of all there is the clapping of thoughts inside and then there is clapping externally first it would come to you that you should do something and then you would do it with your physical organs therefore check whether you have pure thoughts or sinful thoughts inside you pure thoughts are pure thoughts and sinful thoughts are impure thoughts the unlimited father does not have sinful thoughts he is the bestower of happiness you would have sinful thoughts of causing someone sorrow or of performing a sinful act i come here to make you identical to myself 
you know that a father would always make his children equal to himself children are not given birth to experience sorrow they take sorrow according to their own karma the mother and father want to keep the children very happy but maya interferes a physical father would believe that he is giving his children a lot of happiness by getting them married however the father from beyond says to get married means to bring total ruin to oneself i make you into such beautiful flowers that when you marry in heaven you will become the empress and emperors and swing in swings look how much difference there is in the intellects of physical fathers and in the father from beyond at this time people have very strong sanskars of maya in them it is as though they are like ajamil the greatest sinner i want to make you children so happy that you swing in swings the unlimited father has such a first class desire in his heart to give happiness to the children parents create children and so they have to make them happy the unlimited father also wants his children to be happy however there is a lot of difference between the intellects of worldly father and the father from beyond the unlimited father says connect your intellects in yoga to me and break your intellects away from your physical parents and your friends and relatives etc i am everything to you maya causes you sorrow in every situation whereas i make you into oceans of happiness i myself do not experience the happiness of the kingdom however i am called the ocean of happiness and the ocean of peace and this is why i am able to make you happy he explains so clearly no one else can explain in this way it is only in bharat that they sing you are the mother and the father where did this praise that they continue to sing emerge from the father says you receive all happiness from me alone this is why i tell you to break away from everyone else forget all your relatives etc including your own body consider yourselves to be souls the father makes you into such beautiful flowers he says listen to me alone and have yoga with me alone just as i am the ocean of knowledge and i know the whole of creation in the same way also turn this world cycle around in your intellects a mother and father never cause their children sorrow they don't create a creation to cause them sorrow the father now says the past is the past now according to the drama become pure and beautiful there there is no question of wise you are becoming emperors and empresses the whole world says the golden age heaven is wise less world everyone worships the deities of that place because they were pure and full of all virtues they had to become those with no degrees from being those with 16 celestial degrees look at what happens with the moon at the end it is called amavas bracket the night of no moon the darkest night it is the same here human beings now don't have any virtues let alone 16 degrees they don't have even one degree because of them not having even one degree this is called extreme darkness then by developing those qualities you will become 16 celestial degrees full you have now become those who have no degrees and ugly 
इट इज सैड द डार्क नाइट ऑफ ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा इज कॉल्ड प्रजापिता यू आर कॉल्ड ब्रह्मा कुमार एंड कुमारीज एट फर्स्ट देयर वॉज द डार्क नाइट ऑफ द बी केज एंड यू हैव नाउ कम इन टू द लाइट एंड आर वंस अगेन बिकमिंग सिक्सटीन सेलेस्टियल डिग्रीज फॉल द डिग्रीज ऑफ द सन डेनेस्टी हु वर सिक्सटीन डिग्रीज फॉल कॉन्टिन्यूड टू डिग्रीज You are now imbibing all degrees. You imbibe them in such a way that you become sixteen celestial degrees full in the golden age. Just as the king and queen become sixteen celestial degrees full, in the same way, so do you, lucky stars. As are the king and queen, so the subjects. It is number wise. Kings have now become beggars and from beggars they will become kings again. The father now says, forget all of them and become bodiless. Consider yourselves to be souls and forget your friends and relatives etc. You now remember you now surrender everything you have. I give you the imperishable jewels of knowledge. No one can put a value on each jewel. Each jewel. Baba tells you the story of Rupa and Basant, the one from whose mouth jewels used to emerge. They have created the scriptures of the path of devotion. Only the one Father grants salvation. He grants you salvation with knowledge. This is called. This is also called the nectar of knowledge. They speak of Mansarobar, brackets a lake in which you become an angel by taking a dip. It is also called nectar. They give you water to drink there. Brahmins keep that water in a small urn and call it nectar. In fact, this gyan, brackets nectar, is knowledge. The father says beloved children become soul conscious maya will not leave you alone when you try to become soul conscious maya continues to make you body conscious this war is the number one war maya makes you become body conscious and throws you straight into a pit she doesn't take long therefore use your own intellects baba says is study very well and the name of the teacher will also be glorified the father is the one who gives you the prize a prize is given to those who study well and who also teach well they are praised if you want to claim a high status first of all look in the mirror of your heart Do I love the father? How soul conscious I am I? How much effort do I make day and night? When body conscious comes, you come to a halt on your pilgrimage. When you forget to remember the father, you move two steps backwards. On the one side there is profit and on the other side there is loss. When you become soul conscious your account continues to become full Maya makes you incur a loss somewhere or other Responsible children are concerned about their accounts otherwise some even go bankrupt This business is such that there is profit and also loss Maya makes you forget Therefore check how much you remember the father and how much you make others equal to yourself Businessmen keep all their accounts otherwise they are not businessmen but fools Some give happiness to many others Children even write to baba so and so struck me with such an arrow that i became a charitable soul from a sinful soul they surrender themselves to that person you also have to act for your livelihoods 
while is living at home with your families you also have to do business with the father burn away your sins with the power of yoga make others into charitable souls all of this is work for your intellects your intellects become wholesome like it is strong and healthy when you remember the father otherwise out of body consciousness you would remember your friends and relatives maya doesn't leave you alone while is following sib baba's directions you even kick srimat aside and your status is then destroyed at the end there will be great repentance and you will cry out in distress good children climb into everyone's heart they even glorify the name who are the maharathis in the pandava army and who are the maharathis in that army you know both armies all of these matters have to be understood scarcely a few follow srimat because of not following srimat you defame the father's name that is you kick srimat aside this is the company of the truth you make others equal to yourselves and make them into the masters of heaven maya makes you into such sinful souls that you even become run away from the father on the path of devotion all of you are brides in terms of him being the father all of you have become his children then you are also his brides and so as brides how much should you remember the bridegroom acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father pap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 become roop and basant and let jewels of knowledge emerge through your lips make your intellect wholesome brackets strong and healthy with yoga second give everyone happiness in the same way as the father does and become a bestower of happiness never have any bad or sinful thought of causing anyone sorrow blessing may you stabilize your mind in an elevated position and finish the game of changing your pose and become an easy yogi the position of your mind is visible in the way you pose your face some children carry a burden and become heavy with it sometimes because of the sanskar of thinking too much they feel bigger than they could have imagined sometimes because of being disheartened they see themselves as being very small so look at your pose look at your poses as a detached observer and stabilize your mind in its most elevated position stop all your different poses and you will then be called an easy yogi slogan a soul who has a right to the mine of happiness is constantly happy and shares that happiness with everyone slogan a soul who has a right to the mine of happiness is constantly happy and shares that happiness with everyone ओम शांति